This is Gunner. That's my retired one, Elmo. But this is my new one, Gunner. We found him, well, my niece found him on the side of the mountain. He's been fully trained. He is a English Foxhound Boxer Mix. Let's see if he can do a little work for us. He might not be in the best of things because he wants to be outside. Let me go close this back door real quick. Stay. Stay. Gunner, come front. Good boy. Foot. Yes. Touch. Yes. What does this mean? What does this mean? Yes. So he's got a little bit of DPT training in him. Good boy. Down. Down. Foos. Yes. Good boy. Ready? Let's go. Foos. I know it's kind of hard to see from this angle. Foos. Yes. Good boy. You see my other one is watching too. Ready? Boost. Boost. You see he's staying right beside me. Good boy. Ready? Boost. Boost. Boy, come front. Come front. Yes. Good boy. Down. I know. Come here. Come front. Good boy. Foot. Yes. Foot. Yes. Foot. Yes. Good boy. So he's very intelligent. Foot. Yes. Good boy. Touch. Yes. Touch. Yes. So he's very intelligent. Stay. Believe it. Come right here. Get him. Come. Boos. Boos. Yeah. Hey, that's not what I was asking for. Pay attention. Boos. Yes. Good boy. And then, yep, yep, good boy. A little more. Help. Help. Hey, pay attention. Yes, good boy. Okay. So that gives you an idea just what he's trying to do. He's coming up here when I get a little upset by something. Good boy. Down. 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 Good. Sit. Yes. What? Yes. Good boy. So he's very well trained. Sit. Good. Release. Oh, oh, oh. You get your foot caught in my... No, you got your foot caught. So he's a very, very sweet dog, very loving dog. He is uh, going to be six years old here, apparently seeing that's Rufus, my dog, dad's dog. Okay, go. Good play. Hoping I'm going to be in frame here. Okay, so he is around, he's five right now, I believe he's going to be six in April. Very, very sweet. There he is. And he's before had him, you couldn't touch his legs, you couldn't touch underneath his belly. He was just really afraid. Um, they found him on the side of the mountain. He was uh, in pretty good condition because some people had been feeding him. But uh, he has a chip with GPS location on it. So the person knew he was missing. Barks a little bit, but not when he's being worked at all. The only thing he has an issue with is my dad, and I think that's because that's... I can't go into detail about what some things are on because that has to do with his past owner. So I can't go into that right now. But what I can say is that his past owner apparently was about the size of my dad, had a similar voice. And it makes him a little bit nervous, but he's getting really, really good at dealing with that. And um, he had an issue with being in uh, really small spaces when we first got him, like 
elevators and now he's fine he's perfect every time we go out he's perfect and uh, during his service dog training we were taking him out to restaurants he was absolutely perfect now he's just he's amazing he's the best dog I couldn't ask for anything better we've been looking for years and I truly believe God stepped in and my sister in heaven stepped in and uh, of course David I think up there too may have stepped in and had a little hand in it and said hey can we drop something in her lap and here's this dog because they are very expensive depending on where you get them from if they're fully trained they can start at 10,000 go all the way up to 80,000 just depends on what breed and how much training they have especially for seizure dogs they're extremely expensive he's already alerting on blood sugar going with my sugar drops because I'm hypoglycemic because this one right here used to do that for me and uh, this one's only problem was is that he would bark and that was a dachshund thing of course he's got a bark collar on right now because he's no longer a service dog you see he's limping he's got what's it called hyperkeratinosis I think it's called Where they get the little spots in their paws little growth so he's completely retired and uh, he is going to be 11 this year, I believe, either 10 or 11. When we moved, his papers got lost. They're somewhere in the storage unit. But, um, yeah, so he is, that's, that one's Elmo, by the way. That's Rufus and the big service dog, which is right over there. He's kind of blending in. His name is Gunner. So his original name was Samson, and then we renamed him Gunner. So, what are you doing? The nice thing is, is that he still, this one, Elmo, still has all of his training and everything. So if Gunner wants to take a little bit of time off and go sit in my sister's room, which he does quite a bit, this one still has all of his training, still remembers everything. So he can be in my room and still alert me to a seizure coming on, which that one is learning over there. That one's learning, but he hasn't quite caught on to that yet. He's more of a response, but we're, we're, I'm working on it with him. I'm teaching him kind of how to do that. And he has actually alerted twice to an oncoming migraine, which is really awesome because it's not easy to do. Uh, the little dachshund just knew, just knew how to alert to an oncoming seizure, which is very rare. You don't find too many of those dogs. Yeah, good boy. Good boy, Elmar. And uh, he would alert to migraines. He'd alert to, like I said, blood pressure. Um, if I was feeling weak, he would alert me so I could sit down, which that one does all the time already. He's really good at balancing. He's only about 40 two pounds right now um but anyway yeah so we're really happy with him i'm very happy with him he's doing really really good of course uh when people say service dogs are not in training all the time that's not true they're always in training and um he's going to be on this channel quite a bit um just show you some different stuff we do we still have to go do our uh good canine citizenship Test, which you don't have to have. It's nice to have, but you don't have to have it in order to have a service dog. Elmo had it. Um, that little guy over there has, I think he has it. Yes, he has it because he's no therapy dog. But um, he started going towards my father more than me. So I ended up not renewing his training. So. Um, he is, this one right here is no longer a service dog. Technically he is because he's my dad's service dog, but anyway, be on the floor. Um, when they're outside, like this, guys, they're dogs. You saw when I took Gunner and started doing the work, you saw how he changed his attitude and immediately went to work. I told him to release and he went outside and he's doing what he wants to do. 
Um, I allow them to be dogs. And these two, it's a dachshund thing. Yes, they have bark collars on. Oh, well, this one's half Chihuahua, half Dachshund, half Standard Dachshund, half uh, Chihuahua. So, yes, these two have to have bark collars on when they're outside. When they're inside, they're fine. Uh, when they're working, they're different. They don't act like that, but it's when they're outside, they're allowed to be dogs. So, yes. Um... From now on, of course, still do the migraine updates. I'll let you know how the medicine is doing. And of course, sorry about the movement. He's looking for moles and chipmunks. And of course, I'm gonna show you some different stuff with the service dogs. And um, also like to say that if you encounter a dog with a vest, whether you think it's a real service dog or not, please, please, please do not go up and try to pet the dog. Okay? That dog is working for its handler. Just leave it alone. You can smile at the handler, but don't don't try to pet the dog, okay? That dog is a is a safety line for the handler. Please leave it alone. If you have kids, don't let your kid go over and pet the dog. Um, when that one was working for me, I always had people try to come up and pet the dog, and it would irritate me to no end, even with his vest on. Um, in fact, I ended up having to get a bright lime green vest that almost glowed in the dark with patches on it so that people would understand not to pet that dog. Because, oh, it's a dachshund. Oh, it's cute. No, he's not going to bite your kids. No. He's not going to attack anybody. No, no, no. But it doesn't matter. I do not want you petting the dog. He is a service dog. He is performing a task for me. He needs to be focusing on me, not on you. You see, he's got a little lame foot. Yes, he's on medicine for it. But it doesn't matter. Okay? If you're somewhere in a doctor's office and there's a dog there, if you want to ask them questions, many are more than happy to answer questions. But do not pet the dog. Okay, guys? But I'll uh, show you some of the training we do. Some of the stuff we're working on. Things like that. That'll be up on this channel as well. Rough. Things of that sort. And how the migraine journey is doing. As well as some of my other health issues. Like this lovely sarcoidosis journey I'm going through right now, which is when I probably shouldn't be smoking, but that's okay. And um, yes, I've tried CBD oil. It's okay. Um, I cannot have THC. I am highly allergic to THC. It's not even legal in my state anyway, but I've tried... Uh, in the past and I ended up in the emergency room so no can't go that way and uh, I am very 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 sensitive to anything that is uh, let's say trippy so I get motion sickness very easily so mushrooms are out of the question just FYI so no I'm not even gonna try those and they're illegal here too so but the CBD oil I've tried I have some um, I use it in my skincare and I have some oils that I use on my temples and that seems to help really good I get trigger point injections and those help I've also had uh, one two three four RFAs one has failed on the right side of my neck so it'll have to be redone in June that's really helped and, um, in fact, I gotta talk to my ortho about do redoing my knee because I fell the other day and twisted it when I had a seizure. Oh, God, what things I have to do. But, uh, yeah. So, if you have any questions, you can comment below on these videos. I'll try and answer them as best as I can. I'm uh, kind of going through what I call my hell week right now. God, that neighbor.
favorite dog. So, um, like I said, I'm kind of going through hell week right now with transitioning through these medicines. But I will try to answer all questions as best I can. So if you want to ask anything about service dog training, uh, especially in North Alabama, I can help you out. I went to a great trainer. I'm still talking to her, still working with her. She's amazing. Um, like I said, my guy is a rescue. And he is brilliant. Okay? Ending it here. Thanks, guys, for watching. I appreciate it.